This is the corridor to the turbine room, right? Yes. There are two entrances leading to the turbine room from here. One is here on this level, and the other is downstairs, some distance from here. To get to the old server room, we must pass through the turbine room and go to the security door. The corridor that leads to the server room is just ahead. Great. Another security door, which will no doubt pose a problem. It may. Did it? The security door should be open now. Berinsky's agents. I'd better take care of these guys. That takes care of that.
coming. These computers are no longer in use, but they are still connected to the network. We may be able to use this one to hack into Barinsky's files. Yes, here we go. Barinsky wanted to make as many as six nuclear case bombs, but three have not yet been activated. So there are three left. How can we find them? And what about the radiation? Sensors in the power station could react to it, but they don't. They don't. So are the bombs still in the power station where the sensors don't react? Definitely. Wait a moment. Orders. From Barinsky to the Spetsnaz. Reactors. Secure communication. Guard the underground area. Underground? What's down there? <sighs> Nothing of interest as far as I know. Maintenance equipment and parking garages. Then what does Barinsky have the Spetsnaz guarding down there? All personnel in underground areas are equipped with personal dosimeters. Dosimeters? Devices to measure radiation exposure. Perhaps the remaining bombs are in the underground facilities. And that's the reason why they don't register on the sensors. Well, do you think you can find them? I don't know. I'd need a Geiger counter. That should be no problem. When you find the bombs, they will need to be decontaminated. You have to first take them to a burned-out fuel tank. That will put them out of commission. And then we'll show them to the President. Yes. Once the President sees them, Barinsky's plan will be clear to him. 